Today, four ex-Blackwater security guards were sentenced to long prison terms for a deadly shooting in Baghdad eight years ago. The episode caused an international uproar and raised questions about the U.S. government's use of private security guards in a war zone. Here's David Martin. One by one, the four Blackwater guards, their legs shackled, stood before a packed courtroom. Judge Royce Lamberth, his voice at one point breaking with emotion, pronounced their sentences. Life for Nicholas Slattern, who had been convicted of first-degree murder for firing the first shots in the 2007 shooting, which left 14 unarmed Iraqi civilians dead. 30 years each for Paul Slow, Evan Liberty, and Dustin Hurd, all of whom had been convicted of manslaughter. The courtroom, filled with 100 of their supporters, gasped at the life sentence, but none of the defendants showed any visible reaction. The sentences, which were the minimum required by law following convictions by a jury last October, were handed down after hearing statements from five of the Iraqi victims, including emotional testimony from the family of a nine-year-old boy who was killed. What's the difference between these criminals and terrorists, the father asked in halting English. Video monitors showed photos of the dead and pictures of cars shot up by the Blackwater guards. Lawyers for the defendants had asked the judge for mercy, arguing the mandatory sentences were intended for drug dealers and gang members, not security guards assigned to protect a State Department convoy in the middle of a war-torn city. But Judge Lamberth responded, based on the seriousness of the crimes, I find the penalty is not excessive. Choking up, the judge said it's clear that these fine young men just panicked. But he added they were entrusted with deadly weapons and their conduct cannot be condoned. David Martin at the Pentagon for us tonight. David, thank you.